Okay, so I'm going to show you how to thread the Brother XR3774. This machine um, is a machine that I highly recommend, especially for beginners. It's economical. It's very sturdy. I use it for just about everything here at the studio. These are the machines that we use during our sewing classes. I am not paid by Brother or anybody else, so this is not a sponsored tutorial on how to do this. This is simply my recommendation as somebody who has been teaching sewing classes for five years now, and I teach from children all the way up to adults. So we have a wide variety of classes that we teach, and this is the sewing machine that we use. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our spool of thread. Um, if you purchase our beginner sewing course, you get a spool of thread. It's a neutral, uh, usually it's going to be a neutral color, either it's going to be a, an off-white, a gray, or white. We're not going to have anything too bright because we want it to kind of meld and blend in with any of the kits we have. So you're going to take your spool of thread and you're going to put it on your spool stand. Okay, so you're going to put it on your, stool, in your spool stand right here. And then from here, we are going to follow the diagram. So this diagram here shows you how to wind your bobbin. We're going to do that first because that way we don't have to unstitch anything or do anything else. So we're going to get our empty bobbin. Okay. So here what we do from here, from the spool stand, we come across. It's telling us to come behind here. So I'll make sure you guys can see that. Okay, you're going to come right here, and it, all you're doing is just taking the, the thread, coming over, right from behind, come straight over here, and then now it's asking us to crisscross, so now you go, it looks like a crisscross, then you come over, I'm going to have you guys come out just a little bit more. Okay, now that we've done that, so we've come from the spool over from the back, crisscrossed, and now it's asking us to go over here to the spool. I like to take it in, I like to act like this is a sandwich cookie, like an ice cream sandwich cookie. You got a, you got a cookie on each side, and then in the middle there's ice cream. Go into the ice cream and come out the cookie. You want it to look like this. So you want it to come out from the top of the bobbin. You do not want it coming out from the bottom of the bobbin. You don't want it coming from the top into the bobbin. It must be coming from the center out. Put it on there and that's what it's gonna look like. Okay, so you guys can get a better look at it. So from this angle, you can see all set up and I'm holding the thread up with my hand. I'm holding it up. I'm physically holding it up. I'm going to switch it on over to the right, and that engages it. And then I'm going to hit my foot pedal. After it has wound a little bit, see that? After it has wound up a little bit, I'm going to take scissors, and I'm going to snip really close to the Okay, and then I'm going to continue to wind it. So these spools here like to kind of wobble a little bit. I like to put my thumb on it and hold it. You can see it's starting to go slow and it's not wanting to go. That means the bobbin is full. So you don't want to overfill your bobbin. Go ahead and snip it. And then I'm going to show you what we do next, okay? Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to snap it over. If your machine is ever trying to go and it's not, and your needle's not going up and down, it's because your bobbin is engaged. See, it can engage even when you don't have your bobbin in. So just be mindful that this is all the way to the left, okay? We're going to put this in in just a minute. I'll set that aside for right now. I'm going to show you how to continue to go ahead and thread your machine. So I disengage it from being crisscrossed over here. Again, we're going to follow this step. We're following this step right here. 
okay? So we're gonna follow that step right there. So this, again, we're gonna have it from the back, go straight down, it's telling us to go down. I'm gonna bump this down a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this is here, straight down. Now it's asking us to go into a U-turn. This is a U-turn right here, coming back up. Coming back up, and then right here, there's a lever that we're gonna to have to hand crank on the side. You're gonna crank it towards you until you see that metal bar. Then you're gonna go up from the right to the left, another U-turn, that's what this one says right here, it's a U-turn. Go straight down to number five. Okay. Now it's asking us to thread the needle. So we are going to take it straight down. We're going to put it into the bar right there. That is a thread guide. Don't skip that step. It's very important. So I'm going to repeat myself just because I kind of go fast. With it. You're going to hold your thread like floss and then you're going to like just press it in between to flick it right in there. Okay. So in order for you to use your your thread guide here I'm sorry your um, needle threader okay you're gonna want to make sure that you have cranked your needle all the way up to the highest point so see if you crank your needle it goes up and down with the hand crank on the side of the machine I'm gonna lift this up all the way to its to the highest position then this automatically stays and engaged if you're trying to push this down and it's not wanting to click stop Make sure your needle is up at the highest position, and then it will engage, okay? It's very important that you understand that process. I'm going to kind of get you guys a little closer. Okay, so with, we're trying to use the thread guide, the needle threader. This particular model comes with a needle threader. If you're trying to engage the needle threader and it's not staying put like this, like any little touch will make it bounce back up. But if it's not staying like that, it, what happens is it's usually either too low or it's, so you have to have it just right in order for it to engage and stay. When it does that, that means you've done it correctly. So you're going to take your thread, you're going to wind it around this first thread guide, move it over. And then you're going to want to make sure that your thread, I'm trying to see if it's getting in focus, it's your thread comes from the thread guide, and then it's right behind this one hook right here. Then you flick this towards you, and at the back, you're going to see a loop. That means it has properly threaded. Then you take it, you put it in between your toe, and you put it to the back. Now, I'm going to show you how to do the bobbin. So you're going to take your bobbin case and take the little cover off. It's telling us on this diagram here that we're wanting our bobbin to come off, to unwind from the top to the left. So once you do that, you're going to pop it down. Okay. Then you're going to wrap it around this piece right here. So this is a this is very important that you get this through this guide right in here. Okay, that's a tension disc and it has to get in there. Once you, once you go through there, it's gonna come up and around and then you're going to pull it. Okay, once you have done that, it is correctly put in. You are, you're gonna cut off your thread right there. Let's we'll see how I did that and I cut my thread. So it's, it should cut the thread without it having any issues there we go so you cut the thread put back on and you're ready to go okay that's how you thread your sewing machine that's how you put the bobbin in and you how you thread the machine so now you're going to be operating the machine